My name is Rowan Paul. Started off in uh, family medicine, did a uh, primary care sports medicine fellowship. I'm a uh, partner in an orthopedic group now. Regenerative came to me fairly early on. I actually had a experience as a patient when I was a teenager. I had a good outcome, and so I had it in my mind through medical training. It appeals a lot to me because in treating patients, I, it's frustrating with what we currently have to work with, with your kind of standard cortisone and therapy. There's a lack in there and a gap between that and sometimes surgery for these patients. There's got to be something in between that's less invasive and, and leverages the biology of the human body. If you have a Achilles tendonitis, for instance, you know, a common thing is to send you to physical therapy and, and do a lot of strengthening exercises. But there's a lot of people that don't respond to that and have persistent symptoms for years. What if we could leverage the body's natural healing power to get you better without having to open you up? I think the thing that really excites me about regenerative medicine is its potential. You're talking about a therapy that isn't fabricated in a laboratory. You're basically taking products out of your own body and injecting them back into your own body. So now with regenerative medicine, we have the ability to strengthen tendons, break that inflammatory cascade, as well as improve the quality and the biology of the tendons, which is a completely different paradigm now. When patients ask me, you know, is there a cure for arthritis? We never really have an answer for that, and I think we're starting to encroach on something that could be curative for these people. For me, it's all about getting athletes back on the field, uh, getting them active again. A lot of these athletes, it would be either season-ending or career-ending, so we've been able to extend these athletes' lives by many years, in some cases a decade. And I've just found that this has become a part of surgery, a part of my sports medicine, and, and an alternative um, treatment for, for that as well. Every week I'm doing two or three or more uh, regenerative medicine cases. There's a lot of word of mouth that helps to build your practice. Just about every patient says, oh, you know, I have a family member that had it. It's a treatment that feeds on itself. You get people better, they tell their friends and their family, and uh, before you know it, they're all coming to see you for that same kind of treatment. Down here in Jupiter, Florida, the Regenerative Medicine Training Institute has done a phenomenal job of taking both leaders in the field and the people who are highly expertised in doing these types of procedures. It's size-wise uh, intimate, it's much more back and forth conversation and, and sort of picking each other's brains and learning from each other. It's one of the few conferences where you can actually get sort of deep dive into the basic science, but also the clinical applications in sort of a lecture format, and then directly go and work with cadavers and actually get true hands-on procedural learning. They have the best products, they have uh, the best speakers. Today I got to spend some time with Dr. Biscop. As a leader in the field, he was certainly an attractive resource. What I did was learn injection of intradiscal, intrafacet, SI joint. Using fluoroscopy, hands-on, using ultrasound for musculoskeletal indications, using this latest equipment for stem cell and PRP. If you want more experience, you have got to come to this meeting. We can really come out with a measure of competency um, so then you can go out and apply this into your practice. It's a nice entry point into uh, regenerative medicine. As we get better at it, there are a lot of other exponential technologies which will converge to help make this something that will allow people to avoid surgery, actually, and I'm a surgeon. <laughs>